Welcome creative adventurers. I'm Debbie Cohn with D. Cohn Designs. Thank you for stopping by today. In today's video, it's all about quilting on a budget patterns. I'm going to show you 10 things to look for when considering purchasing a pattern so you don't waste your hard earned money. I'm also going to tell you nine places that you can look to find free or inexpensive patterns. But stay tuned until the end because I've got a list that I've compiled of more than 50 different websites where you can get a free pattern too. And last but not least, I'd like to let you know that there is a special event going on in the quilting world. It's called Passport to Quilting. I will leave a link in the video description for that. It's an event where 20 quilt pattern designers have come together for these next few days. That's May 11th through the 15th. If you sign up one time, you will get an access to a free bundle of more than 20 quilt patterns, all for free. That is now through May 15th, and that is in addition to my free list. So please take advantage of Passport to Quilting, as well as my free list available to you. One quick note is to let you know that I am not compensated in any way, shape, or form by any of the people, companies, designers, or websites that I'm mentioning in my video and in my list. It is just my way of giving a little bit back and helping you to save money in your quilting budget when you're purchasing or looking for a pattern. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, tell a friend, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and please leave me a comment. Let me know what is one of your favorite resources for a free pattern. I'd love to know and I want to add it to my list. Before we get started, just a quick word about copyright. Please respect the designer's copyright and their hard work they put into it. It takes a lot of time, effort, and money to design a quilt pattern, make the samples, get it published, put it up on the website, put it out at a distributor to get everything all done just for you. So please don't make photocopies for a friend. Just direct them to the source where you got it so they can purchase it too. That way we respect the work of the designers and be sure to give the designer credit. If you're displaying your quilt, showing it at an exhibition or a quilt show or other gathering, be sure to credit the quilt designer in your information. Let's get started. So what are some things to look for when deciding whether to purchase a pattern or not? Here are my tips in no particular order. First, look at the time you have available. You'll want to choose a pattern that is within the time you have available to make the quilt. Another thing to look for is your skill level. Is this pattern at your skill level, maybe stretching your abilities a little bit, or is it really just a little bit too advanced at this point in your quilting journey? Another thing to look for is the versatility of the pattern. Does it offer more than one size option for what you need? Could you see this pattern may, made in a variety of different fabrics? Would it look good with borders and without borders and sashing? So do you have many options if you choose this pattern? Another thing to look at is your preferred style. Is it more of a traditional quilt, a modern quilt, an art quilt? Is it a style that you would enjoy putting together? Another thing to look for is the size options. Does it offer more than one size option? And are those sizes or that size in your preferred size that you like to quilt? Next, you wanna consider the fabric requirements. Will this require you to purchase additional fabric or can you use some from your stash? Will it need a pre-cut or can you use yardage? Could you even use scraps? Will it require extra yardage or extra pre-cuts for fussy cutting or directional fabric? You want to keep that in mind as well. Will you need to purchase additional fabric for borders or sashing? Also check for that in the fabric requirements. Related to fabric is long arming it. Is this something that you're going to send out to a long armor or are you going to DIY it yourself? You might wanna take the time into consideration when deciding whether to purchase that pattern. Next, is this a one-off project or could it be used for multiple projects? One more thing is think outside the box. Could this pattern also be used for something other than what it's designated for? Could you use it by breaking it down into a pillow or a table runner? or wall hanging, maybe only sewing part of the quilt, several of the blocks. Would that work for you? Would that add to its versatility? And last but not least, is this a pattern that might advance your skills in some way or advance your interest or learning in a new direction? Sometimes that's a good reason to purchase the pattern. The next thing I want to talk about are some ways to save when buying a pattern. First, of course, is to look for free patterns. And I'll talk more about that in a few minutes. 
Other ways to save would be to buy a bundle. Sometimes a fabric designer might offer a discount if you buy two or three or more patterns from their website. Look for discounts and sales. Oftentimes websites will have a sale, especially around certain holidays. You might be able to take advantage of 20% off or more, especially if they're releasing a new pattern. Oftentimes that's also discounted. Another way to save would be to buy the pattern as part of a retreat or a workshop or maybe a sew along. That way you get the step-by-step -step instruction along with the pattern itself and that can be really valuable. These classes or sew alongs could be in person or even online. Another good way to save is to purchase a quilting magazine. Most magazines offer 8, 10, 12 different patterns and projects. So you could leaf through it, see if two or three or four appeal to you. And if they do, then it's well worth the cost of the magazine when you're getting several patterns at once. Beyond retail options, you might consider yard sales, thrift stores, estate sales, your guild's free table. One last option is to check guild and association websites. Often offer free patterns to their members. All right, here's the thing I've promised you. I've compiled a list of over 50 websites that you can get a free pattern from, one or more patterns. Now I will say as a caveat, in most cases, you may have to sign up onto an email subscriber list or a mem be a member at no cost for something. But in every case for the website I've listed, you can obtain a free pattern um, just by providing your information. You can always unsubscribe from that email list if you find that the designer is not for what you're looking for in the future. How to access my free list. Okay, I'm going to put it on my website at www.decondesigns.com. You go to the Patterns tab and it will be posted there. It will also be posted in a blog post where you can find the list and a link to the PDF as well. So it will be posted two different places on my website. The list in the blog post itself will be clickable links. If you prefer a PDF, I'll have a link for a PDF copy that you can download and keep for future reference. If you sign up with any of these websites or pattern designers, please leave them a comment telling give them how much you appreciate their free pattern and let them know that Debbie from Decone Designs sent you. And don't forget to check out my website as well. That's on the list, Decone Designs, where I have two free patterns for you as well. So that's all I have for you today for quilting on a budget regarding patterns. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and tell a friend. And don't forget, leave me a comment. Let me know what is your favorite resource for free and inexpensive patterns. I really want to add it to the list. I'll see you next time. Take care. <music>